Definitely um, excited for this opportunity to interview you, to talk about the show, to talk about your role, but also just to learn more about your, um, yourself and acting as well. Hey, okay. <laughs> so perfect. So Pauletta Washington, you know, I got to say it like you my favorite auntie or something, right? <laughs> well, so, thank you. I love it. <laughs> with reasonable doubt, you play Mama Lou and Mama Lou does not believe in divorce. She does not <laughs> believe in breaking up no happy home. She is a traditional black mama, grandmama, me, my great grandma, everything. She is that and all of the above. <laughs> and I love it. I have loved her since I first read about her in the first script that was sent to me. She just embodied every woman that I've known in my family and those that, the, uh, uh, in families that I, 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 I know of. Mm -hmm. And I was excited to be able to um, uh, embody her and incorporate all of those women that I knew and those that I that I would dream of knowing, yeah. you know, <laughs> one woman. Nice. She's all of that to me. She's all of that. She is the matriarch of the show, you know, and um, she loves her only daughter. Mm -hmm. And I think, and as I tell Emiatsi all the time, I said, well, you know, Jax wouldn't be Jax without Mama Lou. Exactly. <laughs> wouldn't be that tough. There wouldn't be that toughness. There's that, you know, but also I think the thing is we have to look at Mama Lou and Jax and say how Jax is as a, a as an attorney, right? She doesn't let her, her the people give up. She doesn't do that. So I think we have to see the same parallelism. She's like, don't give up. You guys don't. You know what I mean? And yes. I think also we can look at Mama Lou acting as an attorney for the husband. Yes. She's like in favor of the of the defendant. <laughs> And she's all up in the mix when <laughs> Jax doesn't necessarily want her all up in the mix. Yeah. But I mean, that's what a mama does, yeah. you know? And she wants to see, she wants to see that perfect family. Mm -hmm. Although obviously their family wasn't that perfect, mm -hmm. but it doesn't make her uh, 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 less desirable of the mother, the perfect family, the, the the perfect union and unity, you know, and all, because there's a lot more that you guys are going to find out. Oh, yes. I'm already excited. I'm about to, um, after this, I have to watch it. So I'm already, um, and you know what I was looking at too, when um, these recent episodes, when we talk about, you know, the father in part in there, right? You know, it's like, she comes in, Mama Lou is this type where you see her also saying like, I, we, I might've had these mistakes happen in my marriage, but I really don't want you to have these same ones. But also I want you to work on your relationship with your father. There's all these things where Mama Lou is like, Jax, I just want you to sit down, stop beating yourself over the head. And it's like, it, it's, it, it's almost like she's talking to a younger version of herself. So I think yes. it's like, there's that part where I think that's why she's so ingrained in it because it's like, you are me, I am you. So yes. please end up happy. And, and, and the first thing is you are a black woman. Yeah. You know, that that's one of the first things, you know, and, and I think that's why Jax is so, uh, um, I want to say stubborn, but she's determined yeah. because of the all of those lessons that probably were instilled in her. And she had to go to these schools. She she's a top attorney and you don't get to become a, a top attorney uh, by by sloughing around. You know, exactly. and now she's juggling everything. She's trying to juggle her career and she's juggling her personal life. And then she's got her 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 real personal life, what, what I call with her family, her, her husband and her children. And then she's got the personal life she's got with me and her father. Yeah. So, I mean, there, that, those levels are that's a lot. And here you've got this wonderfully gorgeous who's played a, a magnificently by Emmy uh, yeah. that that. The complexities keep you awake every 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 episode. No, and I think that's the beauty of it. Especially, I think that's you know when we look at these characters, it's so black. It's just so. <laughs> the, the, it doesn't take away. It doesn't shy away from the N word. It doesn't shy away from just the culture. You know, because some shows want to make sure that things aren't you know are more PC. But I think it's so beautiful because it does it in a way where it's like. This is the culture, but it's not overboard. You know what I mean? Yes. 
shows it from, and I think real when you look at it from a, a strong black woman's perspective, right? We kind yeah. of mad at Jax and go, Mama Lou, leave her alone, leave her alone. But also mm-hmm. we get to see, what about a black woman not wanting a man because he didn't do anything wrong? He didn't cheat. This isn't like, you know, a Tyler Perry movie. This is a show about a black woman saying, you know what? You, I just, I just can't get with it. I just, I just can't get with what y'all are saying. And and I have a choice. I have a choice. choice. <laughs> and I want to step outside of the choices that you've made for me up to now. I'm not going to do that. This is what I want to do. You know, nice. it's beautiful. Now mm-hmm. I don't, I don't agree with it all the time because it's not going into what what I want. But it's not about what I want. She's yeah. saying it's about me. And yet she still has a young daughter too. Yeah. That's going to that that's going to step up. And I say this as Mama Lou because I say it as, as Pauletta the mother. They're gonna know when you're a parent, it's a completely different story. Yeah. Than when you are a child and you think, yeah, well, I'm gonna do this when I get here. Because my mother always used to tell me, you just wait, you just wait. And she never lied. <laughs> <laughs> before we get on to you I just this last part i will say the blackest thing i've seen in the show thus far was when the son had the door locked <laughs> and she said nope she took off the blocks i said this is the blackest show on television right now i <laughs> and we all know that it to be true Okay. <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh. Well, for you, what was it about this role that made you go, this is worth my time. This is worth my energy, you know, because when you're doing a series like this, it's over the course of months. And then you're also looking at it to, you know, hopefully have a season two. It should have a season two, you know, season three. Yeah. What was it that spoke you? I'm already speaking into existence for you, <laughs> claiming it. What was it for Miss Washington that said, this is the role I know that is going somewhere, this script, this show? The complexity. It's a very mm-hmm. complex role. It's not just your run-of-the-mill uh, uh, mother, you know. First of all, it's a Black mother. So just that alone <laughs> presents all kinds of, of, of turns and curves. And, and it's not a straight line being a Black mother. You know, because it's not a black, it's not a straight line being a black woman. So you add the woman, you add the mother onto the the woman and it's many, many things. So I was excited because she was, this was an opportunity to present a a, a mother in, 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 that she's educated. You know, she has obviously raised her child, which means that she's had financial, she's not, she's not poor, I won't say she's wealthy, but she's not poor, mm-hmm. you know, that they she's able to provide for the family and that she's doing very well and she has a lot of life. Yeah. Mama Lou has a lot of life. So I felt like, there, the, and as you will see, as more uh, is revealed to you, how things turn to the left. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it's that's the part that I was excited about, you know? Nice. It wasn't okay. your normal run of the mill. Oh, this is nice, you know, the the leave it to beaver kind of people. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I love that. I mean, you know, when you look at some of the other films and things you played on, you 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 go for those, you know, like that kind of have a tone that really takes you on that. Why is that so important for you to have this to choose something where it takes us on this emotional journey where you're kind of like screaming at the screen, like, stop, leave it alone. Like, you know, you can't just be like, man, just just be happy. Like, you know, so you choose these kind of like films and roles. Is it something about that just connects that type of like, I don't know what's gonna happen next. She's giving me anxiety. No, because I think that's life. You know, I really do. I think it's, it's, it's real. I, I always like to, I love fantasy, I do. But then you, the fantasy only lasts but so long yeah. because then reality comes in. It, it, it can give you an upper left that you, you know. So I like that to where when, when, when I can present a certain uh, tone and then all of a sudden it's not, it's, it'll take you on another turn. It, it, it excites you. It makes you think. I yeah. like those kind of roles that makes you think, makes me think, makes me be, become challenged to something different. Yeah. And if I can feel that and find that, yeah. I pray that I get that across so that the audiences can see and feel. Nice. 
I love that. And you know, I wanted to just let you know, one thing about classically trained actors, actors, actresses like yourselves, I always like to be very, you know, pronoun and all those things for everybody that's listening. You you can tell when someone's been classically trained because you have guided me with your hands throughout this entire conversation. <laughs> and there's an enunciation that happens when you do it, almost as if we're in like speech class. So it just also <laughs> is a testament because each thing brought it back, you know, it's like, like, man, she's centering me in here. Like everybody else can see this, like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> well, let me let me go back to saying a lot of that classically trained came from my father and my mother at the at, in the house. Because uh -huh. they were both professors. So, you know, we we had to speak correctly. We had to be able to 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 talk, uh, to explain properly, you know, and um so I think that was my beginning okay. and then school. Nice. I love that. Well, last question. I've, I've been enjoying this. I hope you've been enjoying this. this oh, yeah. <laughs> it's great you know, talking with you. No, thank you so much. Last question. What's next for Pauletta Washington? You know what? I wish I could tell you, Michael. I don't know. <laughs> I I am so open to continue to to make art. I I just am, and I think that I've been so so blessed that many of these projects, especially the ones that I've done as of late, like starting with uh, with uh, Miss Emma Miss Miss Ella, and and she's got to have it with Spike, mm -hmm. and then in Genius with Grandma Rachel. Uh, I think that we, we, in that role, that when I had to slap Courtney, that was <laughs> monumental in my house. When that happened, I was watching it with several of my children. And they went, oh, my God. <laughs> 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 That's my mom. <laughs> you know? Nice. I love it. So that and and just that that challenge. And then Mama Lou is just, she's a she's really a dream come true. So. I, I'm open to to continuing to make art and however that comes. Nice. Well, thank you. I love that. And I'm, I'm excited to continue to support any of the art and all of the art that you make. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And and how far are you? Are you up to up to date with the reasonable doubt? Oh, yes. I'm watching the um, latest episode tonight. So I was waiting good. for it. <laughs> good, good, good. Well, I'm just going to say this. The last episode, I bet you this is what you're going to do at the end. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all.